Shalom. So Michigan House has passed the hate speech bill. We covered that when it's just started out. It's been passed to fine and jail parents, teachers, pastors, and politicians who speak the truth. The Michigan State Legislature is pushing forward the new hate speech bill, threatening all these people for various inherently offensive topics. The proposed legislation, HB 4474, does more than threaten the First Amendment and free speech rights of Americans. The proposed legislation amends the state's Ethnic Intimidation Act of 1988, making it a hate crime if a person causes severe mental anguish to another individual. This means parents, teachers, pastors, activists, politicians can all be charged with hate crimes if their speech upset someone who is weak-minded and vindictive. For example, the victims of these new hate crimes can claim that a pastor caused severe mental anguish because the pastor spoke basic truth from the Bible. A parent who speaks out at a school board meeting could be accused of hate crime if they expose transgender pornography. If the hate speech becomes law, this bill they've just pushed, Left-wing prosecutors could go after anyone they disagree with, bringing felonious hate crime charges against anything they don't like. Those who seek attention by adopting a victim mentality can target anyone who offends them. Left-wing prosecutors will be able to represent an entire victim class who cannot handle the truth, who decry verbal intimidation or harassment when facts are presented to them. According to attorney David Coleman of the Great Lakes Justice Center, the proposed legislation is a threat to the First Amendment, honest speech, and the very essence of the English language. Words are malleable, he said. They can be redefined by whoever is in power. Remember that. Under the proposed statute, intimidate and harass can mean whatever the victim or the authorities want it to mean. The focus is on how the victim feels rather than a clearly defined criminal act. This is ridiculously vague and subjectively standard. They're putting this in place and test running it. That is what it is. And this will become law across the world when we're gone. They're going to be able to crack down and control anything. You stand up and preach God made them male and female. You get nailed by the hate speech bill. And boom, there you go. You're done. Punishment for these so-called hate crimes includes a fine of $10,000 or five years in prison or both. On top of that, people accused of these hate crimes will be required to complete a period of community service intended to enhance the offender's understanding of the impact of the offense on the victim and their wider community. Right? That means... You spoke about male and female from the Bible and that what's wrong is wrong with homosexuality and LGBTQ and everything. Now you're fined $10,000, five years in prison. And when you come out, you have to go work at an LGBTQ center promoting it so that you can learn what you've done. And if you refuse, guess what? Back to prison with another fine. According to the text of the bill, community service under the subdivision must be performed with the consent, consent of and in support of the community targeted in the violation. By enforcing these punishments against language and thought, this bill is like a Soviet-style re-education camp. This is the prep for what lies ahead, people. This is not a weird sci-fi drama or fantasy novel being explained to you as a synopsis for a book that's coming out or a movie that they're working on at Netflix. This is the reality of the world that they're folding and molding in their image. They, them. Destruction. Peace and safety. They must just keep screaming that. Hey, this place. Can't wait for the rapture. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.